machine, isn't he? Yeah, he is. How many of you have a dog? You like dogs? Uh, tell me one thing, each of you, that you like about dogs. Let's start with you. You like dogs? What's the one thing you like about dogs? Okay, Judy said he likes dogs because they're cute. What about you? Fluffy and they like to be petted and played with. What about you? <coughs> she loves them because they love her and they're so cute. How about you? They're smart and they can learn tricks. How about you? Cajun said he stole it, didn't he? But that's okay. That's how you feel though, right? Now, Brianna, how about you? You like dogs? <laughs> what is it about a dog, not the one you have, that you like? What kind? Of, why do you like that dog? What's one thing about you like? Fun, playful, and fast. See, that one's not one. That's three. That's a good thing. Now, how about you? What do you like about dogs? Um, I like dogs how they're playful. Um, they'll always look at you, play tricks. The thing I don't like about them is they smell always. Hey, you know, I have a dog at home like that too. Listen, I'm going to tell you a story about a dog. And this little girl, she wanted a dog, and she wanted a dog, she wanted a dog, and she would bother her mom and her dad and say, Daddy, please let me have a dog. And dad said, Well, you know, I've got to work, and mom's busy. I don't know if we have time for a dog. And she kept at it. Let me have a dog, let me have a dog. So her birthday came up. And what do you think her dad got her for her birthday? Uh, How'd you guys guess that? <laughs> it was going in that direction, right? Yeah. So listen, because she kept asking Dad, you're right. Dad said, man, if I don't get her a dog, she won't leave me alone. So the dad got her a dog. He didn't get her just any dog. The dad got her an American Bulldog. You guys know what an American Bulldog are? Yeah. Is? Uh, you know what an English Bulldogs look like? They're the little small ones that got big bodies, tiny legs, and big heads. And they breathe really heavy and they drool. I have one of those at the house. So an American Bulldog is like four times that size, got a big head, and drools a lot. So anyway, so the dad gets her this dog. And the dog as a puppy was the cutest thing she ever saw. And she would hug this puppy, go to sleep with this puppy, wake up with this puppy, and her and the puppy bonded. And while nobody really knew just how big this dog was growing, because the dad didn't know what kind of breed this was, so the dog got to be about 100, 105 pounds. Is that pretty big for a dog? So listen, the dog got really big, but the dog was really gentle with her and just loved her and she loved the dog. Well, they moved and they moved to uh, the mountains up in, I think it was North Carolina. And up in North Carolina, the mountains up there, they have bears and they have big cats. You know what kind of cats are big mountain cats? Lions. Mountain lions. Perfect. Cool. So listen, if you ever gone to the zoo, and you ever see what one of those big cats, pumas, mountain lions, do when they see little kids walking by their cage? There are going to be 20 adults there, but if there's one little kid, that lion will focus on that kid and will go wherever that kid goes and look and stalk that child. So the dad coming from Florida, taking his child up there, didn't really know a whole lot about uh, bears and mountain lions. Now down here we have bears, we don't really have a whole lot of mountain lions. No mountains, but they call them down here. What kind of cats do we have down here? Bobcats. Bobcats. But we also have, uh, what do they call them? Panthers. Panthers. Yes, panther, panther and mountain lion look a lot alike. They're the same thing. So listen. So they bought a really nice house, and it was in the mountains, and they had about maybe five, six acres. So it was a lot of land. And the father told the daughter not to really go too far away from the house because he didn't know what kind of all that was out there. So one day, the dad was gone, the mom was busy, and the daughter was outside playing with the dog, and the dog caught the smell of something. And the dog took off, and the daughter went after the dog. And before she knew it, she was past the five acres and into the woods. And the dog was chasing a rabbit. A rabbit. How fast are rabbits? Really fast. 
So, so by the time the dog lost its interest in the rabbit and the girl caught up with the dog, she was really far away from the house. And she didn't know how to get back to the house. And so she held on to the dog and it started to get dark. And she didn't know how to get back to the house, which meant she was going to have to spend the night out there in the woods. So she was scared. Would you be scared? Oh, uh, yeah. So this, this is in the mountains. There was no houses around. And as soon as it got dark, there was really strange noises out there because then the animals come. Okay? Whether they're small animals or big animals. And she started to get really afraid. But you know who was with her? The dog. Her dog. Are dogs good protectors? Yes. Now listen, I told you that when the dog was a puppy, her and the dog bonded. Do you know what that means? That means out of any other human, this dog will love this girl more than anyone else. And this dog stayed with her. When it got dark, it started to get cold. You know what happened? The girl hugged the dog, and the body heat from the dog kept her warm. But probably right around the middle of the night, probably about 2 o'clock in the morning, she heard this rustling in the woods. And it wasn't the rustling of something small. It was something big. And she could hear it and it started to get closer to her. And have you ever been in the woods and heard something rustling and not know what it is? And the closer it gets, the louder it sounds, right? So she hears it, it gets louder, it gets louder. At this time, she is on the dog's neck because <coughs> she's afraid. Do you know what it was? No, because you weren't there. <laughs> it was a bear. It was a bear. Now listen, have you ever seen a bear at a zoo? You know, how big, you know how big they get? They're pretty big. Pretty big? Is it, it was a black bear. That's what kind of they have up yeah, the But those bears can weigh three, four, five hundred pounds. This little girl is probably your size. Do you weigh a hundred pounds yet? No? You weigh 80? Don't you wish you would be happy to proclaim your weight? <laughs> so listen. So the bear comes out of the woods. And there's the girl. There's the dog, and there's the bear. Do you know what the dog did? What? The dog got right between the girl and the bear. And wherever that bear went, that dog just stayed right where that girl was. And the bear kept moving this side to that side, because the bear wanted to know what the little girl was. There was something on her that smelled good that attracted the bear. And so the dog would not let the bear get close to the girl. And the bear would go around in a circle. Do you know what that dog did? Went around a circle, but stayed right to where his back end was touching that girl. And as soon as the bear got a little bit too close, the dog growled. Have you ever heard a big dog growl? Yeah. You, ever see him, you ever see him show his teeth? There's a difference in the way a dog will bark when it's excited and you come home and it's happy to see you, and how it barks and growls when it senses and knows it's in danger or its loved ones is in danger. This dog was big enough and loud enough and mean looking enough to scare this bear away. But it did it without ever leaving contact with this girl. So listen, I tell you that story to let you know that this is the same thing that Jesus does with us in our lives. That wherever we're at, whatever we do, Jesus is always there and he will always protect us. The Bible tells us and promises us that he would never leave us or forsake us. That's the same thing the dog did for the little girl that he loved. That dog would risk his life, and the dog would have if he had to. I tag that bear and either kill it or die or chase it away in the process because he loves the little girl so much. That's how much Jesus loves you. And you need to understand that if you continue to grow up. Okay? So,